A polyatomic ion is a covalently bonded set of two or more elements that can be considered to behave as a single unit. By a single unit, we mean that during most reactions, the polyatomic will not be broken up. So if you put a polyatomic into a reaction, it will come out as a product unchanged. Because they behave as a single unit, it is convenient for us to give each polyatomic a specific name. These polyatomic ions can be positively or negatively charged. However, most polyatomic ions are negatively charged. The charge on these polyatomics tend to be constant. So when we look at a list of them, the polyatomics will have a defined charge and that will not variate. These polyatomics will be appearing regularly during general chemistry and it is imperative that you learn their names, structures, and charges. Being able to look at a compound and tell that there's a polyatomic in there is a very important skill. And beyond the, just the names of the polyatomics, you need to learn their molecular formulas. And also very important is to learn the charges on the polyatomics. So here I've given you a list of polyatomics that can be used. You need to find out what the list is for the class that you are currently taking because there may be more or even less and you can see it is just a combination of elements with a defined charge. So acetate is C2H3O2 minus, dichromate is Cr2O72 minus, and they're just a combination of two or more elements with a defined charge. Notice all of these polyatomics are negatively charged. For us, there's really only two positively charged polyatomics. Once again, you'll need to check. There might be some that you're expected to know. The two are ammonium, NH4+, and mercury-1, which is HG2-2+. So each mercury inside of this polyatomic has a plus one charge, so it is named mercury-1. So for me, when I see a compound, and if that compound has two or more different elements inside of it, I usually begin to think that there is a polyatomic inside of that compound, and I take steps to try to be able to identify the polyatomic.